Hi guys! Are you ready to dive into the world of solar charge controllers? Today in this video, I'm going to break down the differences between PWM and MPPT solar charge controllers and we'll discuss their working principles, efficiency, advantages and disadvantages to help you make an informed decision for your solar power system. You can also visit our website now to explore comprehensive solution. And our expert team is ready to guide you through the process, offering tailored recommendations and expert advice. In the ever-expanding world of renewable energy, solar power stands out as a promising and sustainable solution to our energy needs. Solar panels, which harness the sun's energy, have become increasingly popular for both residential and industrial application. However, managing the power generated by this panel is critical for their efficient utilization. And that's where the solar charge controllers come into play. These controllers serve as indispensable components in solar power system, ensuring the optimal performance and longevity of the connected batteries and appliance. The importance of the solar charge controller lies in the ability to regulate the voltage and the currents coming from the solar panel, which can reach up to 18 volts and channel it appropriately for charging batteries and powering devices. And there are two main types of solar charge controllers, pulse width modulation, the PWM, and maximum power point tracking, MPPT. They constantly adjust the electrical operating point of the modules to ensure maximum power output regardless of the environmental conditions. So understanding the role of these controllers is crucial for harnessing the full potential of solar energy, making them indispensable components in any solar power system. So first we'll talk about the pulse width modulation, the PWM solar charge controller. They're designed to regulate the voltage and current flowing from the solar panel to the batteries and other loads. They work by maintaining a constant voltage in the batteries, adjusting the charging current based on the state of charge of the battery. When the battery is low, the PWM controller allows the maximum current to flow, but as the battery approach is full capacity, the controller reduces the current, preventing overcharging and prolonging the battery's lifespan. And the key advantage of PWM controller is their simplicity and affordability. They're easy to install and operate, making them an ideal choice for a small-scale power system application. However, there are limitations in situations where there is significant difference between the solar panel's voltage and the battery's voltage. So now here we have our 10A PWM solar charge controller. It can build a controllable solar charge system with excellent stability to achieve a safe and effective solar power PoE network at a remote location where hard to get dedicated AC power source. And as you can see, it has one connection port for the solar panel and one connection port for battery. And it also has 12 volt output. Now let's talk about the maximum power point tracking, the MPPT solar charge controller. There are advanced devices designed to optimize the efficiency of solar power system by continuously adjusting the electrical operating point of solar panel, ensuring maximum power output. MPPT controller utilize complex algorithm to determine the ideal operating voltage and current for the solar panel. By constantly monitoring the voltage and current, MPPT controller can dynamically adjust the electrical characteristic of the system to extract the maximum power available from the panel. And by maximizing the power output from the solar panel, MPPT controller ensure that more energy is harvested even in varying weather condition or when the panel are not operating under ideal circumstances. 
and this can increase the efficiency translate into faster charging rates, longer battery lifespan, and overall improved performance of the solar power system, especially beneficial in a larger installation where maximizing energy production is essential for meeting the power demand. So here we have two MPPT solar charge controller. This small one is the 20A MPPT solar charge controller. It contributes to 15 to 20% higher efficiency than the PWM controller, with a maximum conversion rate of no less than 95%. Also support maximum PV input power of 240 or 480 watts, and a maximum input voltage of 55 volts. It accepts 12 or 24 volt battery voltage, utilize heat sink to maximize heat dissipation and charging efficiency. And this big one here is the 40A MPPT solar charge controller. It regulates the power from your solar panel to the battery with an efficiency of no less than 95%. Also support maximum PV input power of 1920 watts and a maximum input voltage of 100 volt. It accepts 24 or 48 volt battery voltage. And this is made of robust and corrosion resistant aluminum and it has a working temperature range from minus 25 degrees up to 50 degrees. So when choosing the right solar charge controller, budget constraint and system size are the critical factors that influence the decision making process. So setting a realistic budget is the first step, as it narrows down the options and help identify controller within the affordability range. System size matter because larger setup with multiple panels might benefit more from the efficiency of MPPT controller, where smaller setup could function well with PWM controller, which are generally more budget friendly. And it is worth noting that some PWM controller allow the addition of more batteries, providing flexibility for the system expansion. And this feature can be advantageous for users planning to scale up their solar power system in the future, allowing them to accommodate additional energy storage without the need for a controller replacement. And if you want to know more, here's a video on how to set up a solar power with wireless network bridge at a remote location. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'll see you in the next video.